hello and welcome to a new video i hope everybody is doing well this is my second book video which i'm quite excited to film kind of and it's a bit different to what uh most tbrs are <laughs> um but this is my tbr for january to april now the reason why I'm not doing a monthly TBR is because the amount of books I've got here I wouldn't read in a month <laughs> and I don't have any specifics that I want to read this month. It, for me the way I pick a book is what I'm feeling at the time so I might look at the um, the cover and I'll think oh yeah I kind of feel like reading that one this month I think or right now um so yes uh that is <laughs> that is the reasoning behind this video because um I've set myself a goal this year which is to read 36 books which is around three books a month um which I think is not too optimistic I think it should be doable because I think I'll probably read more than three it just depends it's only because I work full-time so I don't have that many hours in the evening to myself and I don't get a full lunch break so and, and I don't travel very far it takes like 10 minutes to get to work for me so I don't have those in between times to read um, and there are times where I get home and I'm just tired and I really don't feel like reading so I may not read that night um, and again sometimes weekends can be busy so I don't have time but we shall see this year because I have to tone down weekends <laughs> because I can't do very much as we're trying to save up for a holiday but anyway I digress that is the reasoning why I'm doing a kind of quarterly TBR um, and for those of you that don't know, TBR means to be read. Okay, so the first books on the list are the, uh, I've forgotten what this series is called now. So I was, I was right in thinking <laughs> this is the Harbinger series. I, um, I was mistaken it for something else. But yeah, the, um, the Harbinger series, so I'm... <laughs> kind of already reading this one as you can see because uh, we are a bit into December, uh, January already um, but yeah Storm and Fury by Jennifer L. Armentrout um, it's a trilogy so we've got one and two and the third book's not out until June but Storm and Fury I'm actually really enjoying it at the moment it's about this girl called Trinity um and she is a human so this is the world this is a world of basically angels and demons all these books are mostly fantasy because that's kind of my genre that i like um but yeah <laughs> so um this is a sort of angels and demons book um and trinity is a human or we think that she is a human there's a bit of a secret going on there um, and she is living with these um, wardens who are kind of these supernatural beings that are like gargoyles I think um, and they are basically in this war with uh, demons um, and then you've got the higher-ups from the wardens who are the angels so yeah they're kind of like the guardians or wardens it's called basically something happens and she has to save her family from um, this kind of disaster that's about to unfold um, <clears throat> so that's the first book and then um, obviously I've got Rage and Ruin which is the follow-on from Storm and Fury uh, I kind of don't want to read the synopsis because I haven't finished the uh, the first book so I don't want to spoil it for myself um, and then after that this is in no particular order but I have all five books from the selection series um, and then I know there's still more after that um, but this is by Kira Cass and I've already read the first two um, which is the selection and the elite and I really really enjoyed them I've read the elite in a day 
which is really bad. I read it on the Kindle, so um, I kind of stopped because I was like, Do you know what, I really would like the physical copies. Um, so I got these for Christmas, and yeah, I'm very excited to read these. I'm debating whether to read the first two again. I'm not sure, because I kind of remember what happened, but I don't. Um, but basically, this is like the Hunger Games, <laughs> but for romance. Um, and with less killing. <laughs> um, but basically, the synopsis is 35 beautiful girls, 35 beautiful rivals, and only one will claim Prince Maxon's heart. The selection is the chance of a lifetime, and 17-year-old America Singer should feel lucky. She's been chosen for the reality TV lottery in which the special few compete for gorgeous Prince Maxon's love. Rivalry within the selection is fierce, and not all the girls are prepared to play by the rules. So, what they don't know is that America has a secret, one which could throw the whole competition and change her life forever. So yeah, very, I, I enjoyed the first two, so I'm excited to read the, the remaining three. And then as I said before, I know that there are um, more books in the series, but I think this is the main first sort of series part. The next series is the Graceling Realm series by Kristen Kashaw. So we have Graceling, whoop, Fire, Bitter Blue, and Winterkeep, which I got very recently. My friend Sarah got this for me um, because it works out to two pounds in the works at the moment, um, or three for five, and I think all of these are actually three for five in the works at the moment so it is a quadrology <laughs> so um yeah three for five you could get you can get the collection plus two more extra books um but graceling i ended up with this because <laughs> there was a three for five deal on amazon at the time and so i saw that there were three books and i was like you know what it's a bloody steal um, whether I, I know what it's about or not I'm going to get them so I just got them um, but the synopsis on the back is basically in a world where people born with an exceptional skill known as a grace are both feared and exploited Katza carries the burden of a skill even she despises the grace of killing, of killing. Uh, featured by the court and shunt Feared by the court and shunned by those her own age, the darkness of her grace casts a heavy shadow over Katz's life. Yet she remains defiant, and when she stumbles across a mysterious kidnapping, she investigates. Who would want to kidnap an old man, and why? And who was the extraordinary grace man whose fighting abilities rivaled her own? The only thing Katz is sure of is that she no longer wants to kill. The intrigue around this kidnapping offers her a way out, but something insidious and dark lurks behind the mystery, something spreading from the shadowy figure of a one-eyed king. So, yeah, interesting. <laughs> Excited to get started on that, and I'm very happy that I actually have the whole collection, so it's always good, because obviously with um, the Harbinger series, the third book isn't out until June. <laughs> Uh, next one is Incendiary by Zoraida Cordova. Again, this was on a three for five on Amazon, so I just kind of went for it. Um, this is, let's see, what series is this called? So this is from a Hollow Crown series, um, and it's a duology from what I can tell. Um, and the second book isn't out until May, so kind of glad because that means I can read this and then see if I want to pre-order the second one. Uh, again, no idea what this is about so I'll just read the synopsis. I am Renata Convida. I have lived a hundred stolen lives. Now I live my own. Renata was an only child when she was kidnapped by the crown. As a memory thief, the rarest of magical Moira, or Moria, sorry, uh, she was used to carry out the king's wrath a siege that costs the lives of thousands of her own people. Now Renata is one of the Whispers, a rebel spy working against the Crown. When Des, her commander, and the boy she's grown to love is taken captive, Renata must return to the palace and complete his mission herself. 
can she keep her cover even as she burns for vengeance? Her life and fate of the Moria depend on it. But returning to the palace stares memories long locked away and soon Renata uncovers a secret that could change the fate of the entire kingdom and end the war that has cost her everything. So yeah, interesting, excited to read that. Next up we have the Grisha verse, which is the Six of Crows um, by Leah Bardugo. Uh, I've read the Shadow and Bone series last year, which I enjoyed. And so the next instalment in uh, Leah's world is the Six of Crows um, duology. <laughs> so I'm quite excited to read these because from what I've read with the Netflix show, they incorporated Six of Crows and Shadow and Bone together. So which is true because when I was reading Shadow and Bone there was no mention of Kaz and his crew in that book like we saw in the series. So um, yeah I'm quite intrigued to read this and see how much of the show is in the first book like how much they used. Um, for those of you that don't know Six of Crows, um, criminal prodigy Kaz Brecker has been offered a chance at a deadly heist break into the ice court, a military stronghold that has never been breached, and retrieve a hostage whose knowledge could, 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 whose knowledge could change Grisha magic forever. To succeed would mean riches beyond Kaz's wildest dreams, but can he pull it off? So yeah, this is like a heist book, which I've heard about. Um, so yeah, excited to read those. I've got both of those. Almost at the end, I promise. <laughs> so the next book, um, this was on my wish list on Amazon, and it is A Pinch of Magic by Michelle Harrison. This one was actually picked out by my husband, Dave, or David. Um, basically, he he picked out two books for me. <laughs> Did he buy? Yeah, he picked out two books for me. He bought me Shadow and Fury um, and this book, um, just as a cute little gift because you know he is cute <laughs> from what I can tell A Pinch of Magic um, by Michelle Harrison is just a standalone book I don't know where I put it on my wish list because of the cover and how pretty it is <laughs> um, but I do tend to look I mean when I see books I look at the cover and I am like that is pretty but then I do look at the synopsis because like they say, you should never judge a book by its cover. <laughs> um, but this is three sisters trapped by an ancient curse. Three magical objects with the power to change their fate. Will they be Will they be enough to break the curse or will they, they lead the sisters even deeper into danger? So yeah, again, excited to read that. I'm excited to read everything because, you know, why not? And then the last book on the list is Hocus Pocus. Um, and the all new sequel. I got this for Christmas and it's been on my to be read for quite a long time um, and yeah my parents got this for me for Christmas and I'm very excited to read it because I think it's got the Hocus Pocus film story in here and then what happens next which is the sequel um, and I think it's about Max and Alison's kids or something like that so yeah <clears throat> so those are all the books on my TBR for January to April. I will be doing monthly videos where I will talk about ow, talk about the books I read in January and give a review of those. Um, so obviously these books will feature in them up until April. <laughs> I wanted to say June. Um, I am going to be getting some books in between because I've got some pre-orders going on plus I have a couple of boxes coming um, so I don't know I, I really feel like I probably should read these books before the new books that come <laughs> but we shall see I mean as anyone that is a bookworm lover of books knows your TBR never goes down because you're always adding something new to it. <laughs> Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it wasn't too long or too because eh, again it's only my second one for booktube 
um but let me know what you thought of the books that i am planning to read have you read them are they good are you got any suggestions although i probably shouldn't ask for suggestions um but yeah let's get a conversation going in the comments and if you did like this video please give it a like subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one bye Thank you.